And now, your local weather authority forecast. It's a beautiful start for the first day of summer. A live look at Tall City. We have nothing but clear skies. A little bit of haze along the horizon. Thanks to our roofs by Nick, a sky tracker, we do see those pink and purple colors indicating the sun has risen as those temperatures rise. And as that sun rises as well, so with those winds, we're going to be seeing winds gusting more than 30 to 40 miles per hour today. Now, parts of the basin may see storms. That's because of actually a high pressure system in the Ohio River Valley that's pushing all this moisture to the west of our viewing area. And in some cases, in the far western parts of the basin, a plume of moisture coming in from Baja, California, all the way up into the northern parts of the United States. So very expansive area of convection and thunderstorms. But the eastern half of the basin, mostly clear conditions. Eventually, these storms will move farther to the west, providing warmer and eventually drier conditions much later this week. We are still seeing some humid conditions, particularly in the southern and western parts of our viewing area, even the northern and western half of the viewing area as well. Relative humidity, 51% in the tall city, 78% in Alpine. All these greens indicate a lot of moisture in the atmosphere, and you know what that means. We could be seeing more storms in those areas, but again, that threat moving off to the west compared to the past couple of days. As the past couple of days, they have seen about a couple of inches of rainfall in Pecos and Van Horn, but mostly dry in Midland and Odessa and mostly rain-free. High temperature today, 95 degrees for the first day of summer, about a degree below normal with a low temperature, 72 degrees, more sunshine than clouds, and strong winds at times, blowing dust at times, so make sure you guys are weather aware. Also, make sure you guys have the sunglasses because of the mostly sunny skies, 90s, and even potentially lower triple digits in the Trans-Pecos and in parts of Big Bend National Park, but most areas below the triple digit readings today, mid to upper 80s in the higher elevations, cooling off tonight primarily in the 60s and 70s, very close to normal for this time of year, lower 70s in the eastern part of our viewing area with mostly clear skies, light winds, so very pleasant weather conditions, low temperatures, 72 degrees in the Midland and Odessa area with those winds, light from the south southeast to 5 to 15 miles per hour. Those winds picking up tomorrow morning around 10 to 20 miles per hour from the south. And that's going to be eventually providing warmer weather later tomorrow afternoon with mostly sunny skies. Any chances of rain in the far western part of our viewing area, potentially in the Van Horn Mountains, the Guadalupe Mountains, and close to Carlsbad. Mostly clear conditions overnight. Some afternoon clouds tomorrow and even some green specks showing up on this future cast in the northeast half of our viewing area tomorrow afternoon. But that's just indicating a lot of moisture. But again, since we have that high pressure system getting closer, mostly rain-free conditions for tomorrow in the basin. 96 degrees tomorrow, 98 degrees on Thursday, 100 on Friday. So we do have that warming trend with sunnier and breezier conditions. 100 degrees all also on Saturday, but cooler on Sunday with higher chances of some much needed rainfall.